Hello, I'm going to tell you about fitting Bayesian null tracing models in LearnSphere's workflows. LearnSphere is co-developed by the LearnLab, a flagship project of Carnegie Mellon University's Simon Initiative. Workflows are implemented in one of the LearnSphere's components, the DataShop, a large repository of student learning data. Creating an account on the DataShop is free for everybody. It has several freely accessible curated datasets. Workflows tool, however, is not available by default, and you should send an email to DataShop Help to get access to it. First, a few words about Bayesian Knowledge Tracing, or BKT. BKT attempts to infer student mastery of skill from a sequence of correct and incorrect attempts to apply the skill when solving a problem. BKT is a special case of a hidden Markov model. Hidden states are binary, known or unknown. Observations are binary as well, correct or incorrect. Belgian knowledge tracing tracks four skills, initial or running estimate of students' knowledge of a skill, probability of learning the skill on every attempt, and sleeping and guessing while pr practicing the skill. We will look at how BKT models are fit in the LearnSphere's workflows and will visualize the fits using learn curves. A learn curve such as this one plots an average error rate, the y-axis, against the number of attempts to apply a skill, the x-axis. Naturally, we want the error rate to go down. Red line shows error rate computed from the data, and the blue line shows the error rate as predicted by the model. It is desirable for the blue line to closely track the, the red line. This is the home page of the LearnSphere's data shop. We click on the Workflows link under the Explore section. We create a new workflow and call it BKT Demo. We'll keep it private. In addition to a BKT component, we will import student step data. We will also need learning curves visualization. We connect the components like so. To select the data, click on the cog of the student step box. We'll be using geometry area data from 1996. We'll select all data as our sample. We'll configure the BKT box by clicking on the cog here and we'll select the original skill model. We'll use the expectation maximization solver, also known as the Baum-Welsh algorithm. We save this workflow and we run it as soon as the saving is done. First, the data is extracted. Then the BKT model is fit. And finally, learning curves are generated. Review the results by clicking on either of the magnifying glasses. Actual data can be seen in the Imports tab. It can be downloaded here. Details about the analysis are in the Analysis tab. For example, we can look at the model fit statistics here. Here they are. And finally, Learning curves are in the visualization tab. Here we have a learning curve for every skill. And again, red line shows the data and blue line shows the prediction from the model. Thank you for your attention. Check uh, LearnSphere's workflow workflows out.